Right. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our daily market opening trade here with Trade Club 24. So the trading situation tomorrow is a little bit different, but before we come to that, let's have a quick look at the um, DAX chart of on the M15 time frame. So, um, and actually, let me just zoom out. So that was a trading day yesterday. Um, was looking like the DAX was heading towards the 2,700 point mark, but then due to the American markets in the um, later evening, the market recovered a little bit, but overall it was not a very spectacular trading day. However, this morning, and mostly due to the presidential, to the US presidential um, debate uh, yesterday in America, um, the US American markets saw, um, yeah, saw declining, prices or, 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 or price levels uh, in the Dow Jones, in the NASDAQ and S&P, of course, Russell as well. Um, so that leads to the DAX opening with a down gap here this morning. So 12,700 is currently the big number mark where the DAX is um, yeah, trading around. So now let's go to the M1 time frame and we can see our orange box for the uh, market opening and the orange box is automatically for you displayed in the chart based on the on, on the price level between 8.15 and 8.30 German time. So this is just an idea of what the uh, DAX was doing in this particular 15 minutes time frame. So for me as a trader to, um, to use the Swiss box for our daily market opening trade, which is going to happen in five minutes time. I'm clicking on my box line, but today I'm not going to place the lines around the current market price. Um, I'm actually putting it on top of this orange box. So the idea is um, to use the Swiss box as some sort of a limit order. Um, so I would expect or hope that the price um, gets into this box. And then, so right now it's called a pending box. So nothing can happen and down in the trading terminal, it's all good. So uh, there are no orders whatsoever, <clears throat> I'm sorry. But once the price gets in, gets back into this box, it will be automatically triggered and filled. So then we are, as always, waiting for the price to break out to the top or to the bottom. But first it needs to go into the box. Uh, so that could be one scenario. Another scenario would be, just click on close all. Another scenario would be to place a box on the on the on the lower side of this orange box. It's so called C box. Don't worry about that. I'm going to explain it in detail next week in the live trading room. Um, but again, I don't like the situation where we are trading a breakout where the DAX is still in that range. I'd rather like to have it on the very top, so a gap closing is likely, or on the other side, a new daily low would be possible as well. So these are my two scenarios. Um, I'm going to activate my pending box like this, and yeah, three minutes to go. Um, so we'll see what happens. All right, so 10 seconds to go for the market opening here in Germany at exactly 9 a.m. So the price indeed has entered our box and you can see down here, the two pending all orders are actually in the price. And we are now short in the market with our very first trade. You can see it here on the right hand side. And that's the blue line. Uh, so for this scenario, actually I'm not looking to do any adjustment of the um, profit target. Um, Still, it's not a perfect scenario as a trade is still trading in a certain area. And actually, I like to have these scenarios uh, where the DAX is trading at around this level or down here, um, but not somewhere in between. I think you know what I mean. And if not, again, have a look at our live trading room starting from next week. So the blue line needs to be triggered. That's done. And another successful. Uh, market opening trade. Um, let me pull that trade here out of the account history into the chart one more time. And again, don't look at the number, don't look at the profit. It's just for you to 
uh, understands the technique we are using here. Of course, you can use different sets. You can do the trades with different risk and profit sizes as well. All right. Um, a bit tricky to see. So that is the point of entry. Here's the exit. And for us in our live trading room in the German one, we are now looking to yeah, to wait for another trade. It could be the big number trade, 12,700, where we are going to put the pending all lines around this price level, or one can look for a new daily low. So these are the possible scenarios. My colleague Carlos, he will execute the trade as always on his live, on his real money account. For me, that's it for this morning. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.